Hi, this is Deborah from Dinglefoot.com, and this week I have a Valentine's Day idea for you. And I saw this on someone's blog. I thought it was the neatest thing because you can give someone their Valentine's Day treat and a picture of your child at the same time. So these are great for school and for grandparents, dads and moms. And all you do is have your kid stand against a wall or something and have them stick out their hand like they're holding the treat. So that's what I did today. Just had my kids stand there with their hands out in a fist like they're holding something. And I just printed the picture on my inkjet printer. So it's nothing expensive to do. This is a little bit heavier paper than the regular copy paper that you put in your printer. So, But I just printed it on my inkjet printer and cut it out. And then I just used the actual same sheet because I do want the double thickness because of my treat I'm going to put in my valentine. So I cut out the picture, cut a piece of paper from the same sheet a little bit bigger, and I'm going to mat my picture onto that. And I'm just going to use, let's see, maybe I'll just use some hot glue on here. I tried with my other one to mount it with the uh, Zots and I think it was just a little bit too thick because it's not laying quite as flat as I would like it so I'm just going to put my picture down on here with hot glue and then what I'm going to do next is take my craft knife and I'm going to cut a hole at the top of the fist and at the bottom of the fist and it has to go through both sheets of paper and it has to be big enough to slide your treat through. This pop I have here has a very very thin stick on it so it's going to need just a small hole. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut through here and then cut right at the bottom. And then you might want a couple other things to dress up your valentine. I have some Sakura pens, and that's going to be to write a little message on the front. If I was making this for school or something, I would not be using this whole card. I would just cut it right here so my sheet is 4.5 by 5.5 inches, because you can't really stand it up as a card anyway with the weight of the treat in it. But since I'm making it to give to someone, I want the kids to be able to write inside instead of just on the back, so I did make a card. You can see that here. And I have my pen, like I said. I have some Zots, and that's just because of the thickness of the pop. I want this to set on top of my card, so I have Zots. And then I have a couple corner stickers I'm going to use also, and a piece of ribbon. So I got my holes cut in my picture, cut the whole way through the cardstock. And I'm going to simply try to slip this in as carefully as I can. And if it rips a little bit, it's not a big deal. But this looks like it's going to go through pretty well. So I just slide it through there. So it's going to kind of pop the knuckles out on that fist, giving it even more of a 3D look. So you can see that. Kind of neat. So we slipped our pop through there. You can put it in as deep as you want. If you want it hanging over the edge, that's kind of neat looking too. And I'm going to take my ribbon and just go ahead and tie it right around the stick on the pop. And of course, since this pops so long, I am going to be trimming some of it off because it's just, just a bit too long for what I want. So we'll tie our bow. Give that a little trim here. And then I'm going to take my Sakura pen and I'm just going to write a little message on here. Put be mine with a little heart on the eye of the mine. Then I'm going to grab my little corner stickers here. Just to dress this up a little bit, I'm just going to put a little corner on each edge and then after that 
We're just going to have to trim the stick on our lollipop and attach it to the card. And that is it. So these are super fast if you want to make them for your kids' school class. Just get them printed off on your printer. And it doesn't take much time at all to make these. And it's, it's really neat just to have that personal touch of a picture on your valentine plus a treat all in the same thing so get my last corner on here then I'm going to take my junk scissors I didn't want to use my good cloth scissors I'm just going to trim that off so and if this plastic is sticking in the face of your picture like this one, the angle he had his hands, this pop kept going over here on his face. So I just took some scotch tape and just wrapped that plastic real tight and taped it on the back. And then I just put a little dot of glue on the back to hold that right where I wanted it. So now I'm ready for my zots. I'm going to put a fair amount on this, on the back of this because that is a heavy treat on there and you don't want it it attached with a flimsy attachment on there so I'm going to make sure I got slots on there. You're going to want to put one on the side here next to the stick because that will tend to stick out from your card. I'm going to put probably just two on top yet. And I'm just going to put that right on the front of this pink card. And we will be done. It's as simple and easy as that. Really fast. And there you have it. Really simple and fun Valentine's Day card idea. Thanks so much for watching.